Good morning, everyone, and here is today's sunshine from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. We now reflect on this wisdom from God. This passage of scripture provides us with some valuable and practical advice about work ethic, financial planning, and time management. But on an even deeper level, it is speaking about life. Let's hear it again with verses 8 through 11. Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. And so we are warned of a certain mentality, a lazy way of living, that leads to difficulty, poverty, and calamity. A sluggard summer slumber does not last forever, and when it ends, he is in for a rude awakening. Want lies in wait, and the robbers of winter will soon overtake him, taking everything from him and leaving him with nothing but regret. Ants, on the other hand, though lacking in stature, are attributed the grandeur of wisdom and their practices ought to be considered. Ants are wise because they anticipate problems and do not procrastinate their labor. They cooperate with each other and work together to accomplish all their chores and tasks. They work tirelessly in times of prosperity that they may have plenty in seasons of poverty. Thus, when winter comes, the ants are provided for because the community worked hard all summer. Now, we could just leave it at that and say that the moral of this parable is work hard or you'll starve, or be wise and get rich. But that's rather simplistic and doesn't fully encompass the Christian mindset and motivation behind it. I was actually reminded of this verse about a month ago when I stumbled upon an old cartoon entitled The Grasshopper and the Ants. There's a picture of it on the screen, and if you'd like to watch the whole thing, you can find it on YouTube. But here's a summary. There's a grasshopper who lives next to a colony of ants. The grasshopper likes to spend his time enjoying the finer things of life. He spends his days eating green leaves in abundance, drinking fresh dew from tulips, chewing his tobacco and strumming his fiddle. He likes napping, dancing, and singing his signature song, Oh, the world owes us a living. But he also likes mocking the ants, who spend all their days of summer slaving away, building a shelter, and storing up food for their winter. But soon winter comes, and the grasshopper is too cold to sing and too hungry to sleep. As he's dying, he collapses in front of his neighbor's tree trunk, and the ants bring him inside. They drag the sluggard into their shelter, warm him up, and fill his cup. He then pleads to the queen who warned him. She has mercy on him and urges him to sing for the feast as his contribution. And so he sings. Oh, I've been a fool a whole year long, and now I'm singing a different song. You were right, I was wrong. Oh, I owe the world a living. So though a fool, they give him food and water and shelter. The grasshopper could not be more undeserving, but yet they serve him. They worked hard for their prosperity, and then they used it to help their neighbor in his poverty. Quite a profound truth from such a silly cartoon. I wonder where they got their inspiration. In the context of Christ, we are reminded that Jesus accomplished that which we could not and fulfilled the law for us, that Jesus became poor, that we may become rich, that Jesus gave up everything, including his own life, to make us his own. Thus, as his followers, we should not be sluggards. As Christians, we should work hard and use our time wisely, not to get rich and be greedy, but to love all, live for God, and give generously. As Christians, we should be wise with our money, not to live lavishly and selfishly, but that we may use our earthly blessings for the good of many in need, remembering that our heavenly prosperity is far greater than any country's currency. In Jesus' forgiveness, we are like the grasshopper who has been shown mercy, and in his grace we may sing a new song. May we, as the Church of Christ, consider the wise ways of the ant colony, diligently working together for his glory, 
in mercifully serving our neighbors from the prosperity of his love. Let us pray. Precious Jesus, in love you have carried the load of the law for us, saved us on the cross, and mercifully provided us, though undeserving, with your forgiveness. Cure us of our sinful laziness and rid our lives of apathy, that like the ant, we may be wise, providing for our families, serving our neighbors, and above all else, working for you and your kingdom. May we never be sluggish to show your love, but in faith, Rest in the peace of your grace. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Now may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his sunshine this day. Amen.